oh, oh. Get the mic, get the mic. Here we go, here we go. The new update is out. The new update is out. Can you believe it? The new update is out. I'm seriously, I just turned on my 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 whole streaming rig here because I just logged in. I haven't even done anything. Uh, it took a while to update, and I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to log in and see what it looks like, and I'm going to take you for a ride with me uh, on this. So. I don't know if everything's set up or not. I haven't given out any notices. <laughs> I just, I'm just ready to go. Okay, off to widescreen view. I have a widescreen monitor, and so you get the full view of what I'm seeing. Which, uh, I do have a full only view, which is, it's kind of cool, but you don't see everything that I see. So I thought I would just give you, uh, you know, the widescreen view that, that I see. Okay, so I... I've spawned where I saved at the telegraph office near my near my large yard because the first thing uh when you when you log in and I, you load the game you go to uh oh let's say options and gameplay those are all the same those look good I don't know where was where was the other uh, options. Uh, where was it? Oh, yeah, here. Here, automatic couplers. Automatic couplers was default on. And so I'm like, oh, okay. Let's go take a look. Let's go take a look because I haven't even seen them yet. Let's, let's take a look. So I do have, from my last video, you saw that I had an accidental... Uh, these cars ended on the caboose track. That's supposed to be just caboose. <gasps> there they are! That's not Lincoln Pin, folks. There they are. There's the couple couplers, and they are class. Can I unclass? PH open coupler. Oh, oh, I can unclass them. There they are. Okay, so that's. Oh, can I clasp it back? I made a boo boo. Yes, I can. Woo -hoo. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited about couplers. How silly is that? All right, so here's here it is. Uh, can I close it? Oh, I, oh, I can't close and open. Clo oh, it makes the ding ding sound. Uh, this looks weird. Okay, I can understand this one. This one's fine. These are huge couplers. But this looks weird. But, okay, the standard, standard. Uh, what, what am I? What am I trying to say? That looks weird, doesn't it? Look weird. I, we got to see what that looks like on on. Uh, uh, because doesn't this isn't this going to collide into it? Maybe I don't know. Let's. I normally don't use this, but now I want to. Uh, let's take this out for a, for a drive. Oh, the interface is all new. Here we go. All right, reverser. That forward. Oh, okay. So they made it look like a lever. Okay, that's okay. I like it. I like that it's smaller. Actually, release the brake. That's in a kind of a new location, maybe? I'm okay with that. Yeah, because that way I can just get to the brake quick, because you often have to get to the brake quickly. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, let's see. Oh, if you're hearing any banging and booming in the background, uh, I have roof work being done. We're trying to get a whole new roof. And so that's, that, that's happening in the background. So here's all the here's all the stuff. This supposedly is the water level. This is sand, and this is fuel, which uh, I guess is purple. I don't know what that what that is. All right, am I cleared the switch? Almost. Well, yeah, I'm cleared the switch. I need to do so. Hit the brake. It's the first time I've had to reach down, hit the brake. Uh, let's jump out and let's change. Let's change this switch because I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take those uh, two boxcars out and take those two boxcars out that were in the wrong spot. And I guess what I'm going to have to do is, did they change the paint scheme? Is that, has that always been that way? I don't use this engine much, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, most likely the same. All right. So anyway, uh, 
Let's open this up. Let's pick up and throw. Oh, so they added some new uh added some new icons here. Pick up, throw. And let's see. Add fuel. So it shows you your Ooh, and that seems brighter. It's probably not. That's just me going goofy. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, that's 100%. Wow, that seems bright. Ooh, I like it. Uh, okay, so reverser, yes. Brake release. Regulator, uh, I still have some pressure. Oh, miles per hour. Look at that. I like it. I like it. There was a couple haters. I, I saw a couple YouTube videos and the guys were like, it looks steampunk and it's all like, you know, you don't have an on off for the bell. Or whatever that is. That's the. Uh, is that the bell? Where's the bell? I don't see the bell. Uh, oh, I don't like the whistle up here. Okay, that's bad. I don't like that at all. Yeah. Oh, don't like the whistle. No, that's not cool. The uh, reason why it's not cool is because... Ah, uh, man. Folks, there is designs, you know, for... Um, carpal tunnel syndrome. You know, when you're playing a game a lot like this, when you have stuff put, put up like that okay here we are we're gonna we're gonna couple but I'll, I'll get into that a little bit it seems overly black it doesn't it doesn't have any contrast to it and it just kind of looks weird on the front of this but anyway let's uh let's go get those box cars ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. yeah see if i have to go over here and then i over here and over here that's what causes carpal tunnel you know, when you're doing that a lot. Oh, I'm going way too fast. And I'm going to have to get used to these, the size of this, because, you know. And it'll take a bit, and that'll be a little bit of a change, and players will be like, I don't like change. You know, it always happens. I wonder if there's a minimum speed. Uh, let's see, my speed. Doesn't that have a speed readout? No. Plunk. All right. So I attached <laughs> reverser. And yep, there it is. Okay. So I got it. But I but I want to leave the caboose here because this is the caboose track. I don't want to take the caboose with me. So my first uncouple. Here we go. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay, that part's cool, but where's my speed? I need exact speed. I don't want. I. I, I hope that's not gone. That's that's really, that's really. Uh, now they never had speedometers in the real engines. I'm okay with that. Oh, they've changed it to uh, Imperial units. So I have 337 degrees Fahrenheit for boiling water. Is that, is that superheated steam? What the, what the hell? I have full boiler pressure here. I don't see miles per hour other than this. I don't like that. Okay, go on. There we go. Break. I mean, it doesn't have to be railroad simulator. You don't have to make it exactly like a simulation. It's still a kind of a game, right? You can still... Oh, okay. Well, that seems to be working a little better. Oh, wait. That's the wrong one. That's the mainline track. I don't want to go down the mainline. Uh, this is the main and yard. I finally put the uh, signs up. Uh, from the last video, I didn't have signs. This is the yard and the engine yard. Because this is... My yards have a yard lead. You know, which you should have. You shouldn't just have, like, directly from the main line straight on to the... Straight on to the yard. You should have a, a yard lead. 
All right, so let's take this down into the yard. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to go though, but uh, click back, selected, doesn't matter. All right, let's let's put the brakes on. Oh yes, my brakes are on. Ah, okay. Still getting used to the interface. But I don't like this left and right stuff. This because I'm over here looking, and then I have to look over here. I need it like right here. Put it, put it kind of in the same area. All right, let's break here and figure out where we're gonna. Yeah, I know I'm throttle breaking, but I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see, I'm okay with that one. Track two is occupied. Let's put that down on track three. All right, track three it is. Da -da 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 -da. Could just push these and let them, you know, go in. But... All right, release that brake. I still don't see my speed limit digitally. And, and okay, here's the things, devs. Look, if you. <laughs> There. Okay, let's let's stop this here. Get those box cars out of the way, and let's uncouple. Oh. Okay, that's weird. I'm coupled up, right? And that's how they do it. Uh, is that true? Is that have I been driving the whole time like that? Yeah. Uh, okay, you don't give me the speed limit, but you allow this. <laughs> oh, crap. Uh, uh, one moment, folks. Something happened up on the roof. Let me... Uh... Watch this video while I go see what happened outside, uh, because uh, I think something happened. Let's see, where do we go to my video? Da -da 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 Where's my video? Mm -mm -mm. I'm all panicking here. What's going on? Hmm. Well, let me leave you with uh, uh, with some music for right now while I go figure out what happened upstairs. So, so stand stand by while I see what happened. Oh, here it is. Okay, watch this. The Mojave My grandson. That's me a long time ago. That's me relatively recent. Hello, Netflix. <laughs> Space Bolt. I love my Tacoma. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm having some roof work done. And I have a, a couple guys up on the roof, and apparently uh, they're laying out the synthetic paper, and it's in this giant roll. 
and apparently the roll got away from him and it, it rolled all the way down the roof and it just sounded like somebody was just falling and falling and falling. So I went out to see if they were okay and everything's all good. Shoo. All right. So, uh, you know, broadcasting live, it's always fun. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I was I was getting on about this uh, uh, this kind of weird view. I, everybody's gonna everybody's gonna rail into them. Get it? But I'm uh, about this gap. But I'm I'm railing on the uh, the digital speedometer because you know if you're gonna make it realistic that I don't have a a, a speedometer, then make this realistic that they couple together so they got to figure that out uh so that's going to be a thing but anyway i guess i can uncouple from here open knuckle okay it's not opening i have to open here oh well that's weird okay i could open this one but i was clicking on this one and it didn't happen I'm clicking closed and it doesn't close. Oh, I can't close it. Maybe you have to ram it, which is typical with knuckle couplers. Uh, so let's see if I do it from a closed, a stopped position, release the brake and ram it. Oh, okay. I think that worked. Wait, did it couple it? No. No, it's still kind of weird. Okay, well, at least we, we got part of that figured out. I hope there's not a lot of coupler slack either, because, you know, a little bit is fine, but... Okay, yep. All right, so I, I think I understand how that is working. Uh, let me go up to... Jeez, where was I last? I can't even remember where I left my train. I only have one engine in this whole, in this whole layout. It might be up at the logging camp, I think. Let me, let me check out where the other train is. Do -do 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 -do. Here's my logging camp. Oh, well, there's... Oh, I said I had one engine. I lied. Um, I do have this one also. And this one... That looks pretty good, except, you know, it's not rusty. It's all nice and clean. Okay, I wonder what that gap looks like. And, and let's see, I'm not running. Here's my uh, <laughs> the crazy lumber yard. All right, so the, the way I have it designed is uh, the Ruby Basin there. While while mainline train uh, because I only have one mainline engine, while he is out delivering stuff, he can actually work on these cars. So I like having railroads with hundreds of cars and not enough engines. I literally like being uh, waiting for where the engines are. Oh, my engine's not here. Problem is, I gotta remember where I placed my engine. Uh, but oh, now these couplers look good. Look at that. Those are nice. Yeah, they did the paint on those. Those aren't those big, ugly black things. That looks good. I do like that that they, that they have the bar. So you know that's how they that's how you would uncouple them in real life. So yeah, these should all be the same. Yeah. Okay. So that's that looks good. I like that. I like. That. I approve. Desert Charlie Space Pope. Bruce. All right, but where's my train? <laughs> Did I put it back here? Great depot. Da -da 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 -da. There it is. I see it outside the window. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I just got the. Uh... Okay, so that looks okay. It's shiny black, I guess, on my rusted old engine. And uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So I had my water cars, uh, because I just did a my first ever run last night. Uh, to the to the uh, to the tracks, so uh, I you know I'm not running railroads online extended. I hope it works. I hope it works. Let's fire that up. See if that works. Please attach. Okay, that's that's a good sign. 
Where, Liz? No, it doesn't see me. No. No, please say it's not true. Oh, man, I need my speed boost. Oh, this is... Will the map work? No, the map's not working either, even though it said it attached. Oh. Oh, disappointment. Oh, come back to us, please. Third party, somebody pick this up. Uh, oh, man, I'm glad I... Oh, I'm glad I... I'm glad I got the money when I did. Yep, there's my 500... Thousand. Oh, this is horrible. Now I'm gonna have to work for a living. And and what I mean by that is like uh, I I did play the game on the Pine Valley map and the Lake Valley map, and so I I, I went through the progression. But I'm not about the progression. To me, this is like model railroading. I want to build a class one railroad. But now I can't even show you my map. Uh, well, now it's kind of convoluted. Um, I can show you the map. What I have to do is I have to uh, call up. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. All right. Let's see. What I have to do is call up Railroad Studio. I hope Railroad <laughs> Studio still works. And I have to go to a save file, which is, this is my save list of save files. So I'm going to open my save file. Yes, 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 it's working. All right. So this is my uh, fresh start, my default. I have a city map, and this is my fresh start. Uh, my city map is, is actually uh, fully complete. You know what? I can actually show, show them to you because this isn't real time. This uh uh, there's my Aurora Falls map, my city map. Or, yeah, see, so I can show you both at the same time. All right, so so there's the there's my big city here uh, on my city map, and this is all the end industries. I have the one, two, three, four, five smokestack industries. Uh, there is the lumber mill, which is default. Uh, there is the water tower, which is default. I've added a, I'm going to add a town here. Um, and then I have my engine yard here and my big yard located right here. So I love this map. I love how this came out. But in watching YouTube videos, I was like, well, I want to, uh, I want to see the, the same challenges that people are having because the industries are laid out really kind of weird. And there's like hills and all kinds of stuff. Uh, so there seems to be problems with the default layouts. And so let's see if I can uh, counter those with my map plane skills. But here's all the snowy area. I did, I did add a tourist railroad up here. So there is a, a little tourist station here uh, that has a, a, a passenger train. Uh, on the main line and what it does is it's like a model railroad again i play this not as as a railroad simulator i play this like a model railroad so this is the classic figure eight here's the crossover comes around through this valley uh which i call echo valley because i blow the horn for the people riding in the train and it echoes perfectly then it's parallel track along the river and then it goes through the crossover like you would in a model railroad. And then there's a big station up here. And there's a station here, and you can walk up and see the, uh, you can, uh, there's a trail that walks up to the waterfalls here. And there's a huge town and station here that doesn't show up on this map, of course. Uh, but anyway, that's, that's that one. But the map I'm on is, is, this is the one I'm working on with the challenge. And I found a pretty cool route this way. Here, I'll take you on this journey uh, someday here. Uh, but basically, it's a 4% grade up, 4% grade down. Take this shortcut here. It's a 2% grade up because it's supposed to be iron ore. 
So what happens is the iron ore is up here. There is an iron works here, but they don't take iron ore. You have to pass the iron works, go to the smelter that takes uh, iron ore and turns it into iron. And then you got to take the iron and send that back up to here. And then you can just do the loop again and yada, yada. I'm trying to keep track to a minimum. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, and then cordwood, cordwood comes here from the, uh, from my cordwood yard, <laughs> which is all decked out. And, and then, uh, it comes down past the newly remodeled, uh, wheat farm here. Just did that till 1 a.m. last night. And then that goes up the hill, a small hill. It's really not that bad. And then it goes into this facility. And this track plan is so much fun because it's like, okay, it, you can come in at any direction and you can leave at any direction. And uh, at first it wasn't this complicated, but I was like, hey, I can do this. Oh, wait, I can do that. So I'm like, okay, let's do it. And it took a bit, but it was so much fun. Again, this is how I play the game. You can play it differently, whatever. Uh, I do have my super straight, uh, what I call cow valley here. <laughs> and uh, I've got a nice little turnaround. It's up on a grade. You have to do go up a grade and then back down the grade here. But I made my first delivery. Uh, the, no, I haven't. I haven't done a grain delivery yet or water. I haven't done any. Uh, what I did is I did the first uh to to the uh i made my first delivery to the uh, wheat farm so okay so that's that's that let's get back to the game Let, let's try out some new stuff next up we want to see what that roundhouse looks like uh i guess i can leave leave you here that's the one and only mainline engine i have hundreds of cars one mainline engine one uh switcher engine and one museum piece which like i said i don't i don't use that engine so basically i have two operable engines one mainline one switcher all right all right all right all right here we go here we go here we go here we go this is what i've been waiting for i purposely did not build out this area because i heard about the uh the update coming so i'm just going to go out here to the 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 plains here uh this is near the refinery. There's a big plane here by the refinery. So if you ever need to go down there, uh, check that out. So anyway, it should be under tracks. And turntable three, there it is. Turntable one, two, and three. Okay, okay, let's put it, let's put it out. Okay, I guess I can just put it anywhere. This is just a test run. Oh, I should put them side by side to compare them. Yeah. All right, boink. It's down. It doesn't lift up above the ground. You can't really see that. What I mean by that is, is some of these turntables, the way I've done this before, is a piece of embankment down. And okay, let's put this down. I'm going to raise this up some. I'm just going to put in a random grade here to exaggerate it, okay? And when I say exaggerate it, yeah, see, that's super exaggerated. But I did that on purpose because I want this to be instructional. So let's take the uh, new turntable and see if you put the turntable here on the ground, it developers, come on, you're too close to the ground on some of this stuff. But to raise it, you can do this, but you still have the grass in there, right? So we keep raising, raising, raising. Oh, look! Look what you guys are hiding. It's a little secret. You see it? Look how big it goes. And then it starts flying in the air because it's, it's, it's up too high. Okay, but do you see what, what, what's happening here? There's actual rails. I've been to the real turntables in Laws. and and when I saw that the real ones, I was like, man, there's so much missing data. Where did it go? Where, where? 
it clicked. It auto clicked. It auto clicked itself. How the how the how the heck? How the heck? Okay, delete, delete. I'm doing that again. I'm going to delete you too. Oh, I should should have kept that one. All right, I'm going to do that again. What the hell happened? Uh, again, if you're coming in late to the stream, you hear pounding in the background and explosions. That's <laughs> I'm working on my roof. Oh, it has the it has the link on. So I have to lie to it. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so all right. So if I put it here, let's click it there. Yes, good. Okay, it's stayed. Okay, so now, now I can get rid of the groundwork here. Let's get rid of the groundwork. Boink. Okay, so now, ta-da! Look, there is actual structure and 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 data in here, and there's. There's wheels under here, and uh, and all of that gets lost when you just default plop one down on the ground. Look at that; it's all buried. And the same thing is true with all the uh, the stations and everything. Is like, uh, let's do that again. Let me show you the other the other thing that hurts me. And and I know it's, I know it's in beta. I know that. All right, see, so this is the standard, the standard uh, uh, station, the new station they got us, which, by the way, very good, guys. I really enjoy what you're doing, but I don't like this. Come on, it, this doesn't look right. Uh, this is just, now see, this is good. And why is this good? Because it has a foundation. So developers make all buildings with a foundation that gets it above the procedural grass. And, and do that uh, so that's that's going to be so again the only other way to work around that is you have to come in grab an embankment do exactly what i just did click on it put it at a stupid four percent grade okay then go back Grab your, oops, wrong one. Uh, grab your industry, which is the station. Okay, but this is a lot harder. You can't really tell how much, how much higher it really is. Okay, because it's 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 just because you're not down here on the ground. You're way up here at the air, so it's kind of hard. Uh, where where it, where it lands or can you even do it maybe you can't even do it it looks like it's flowing right through there i can't is it a fail it's a fail folks it's a fail but it's fine here we have a road going through that's a total fail oh tell me it's a flood <laughs> it's a flood ah oh, man you can't even raise this I thought you could. Didn't I do it before? Didn't I raise it before? No. No. It's oh my god, it's a landslide. <laughs> I thought somewhere I raised it. Oh well, I'll have to figure that out. But that's uh anyway, it's something I wanted you to see. So all all go away, go away, go away. I'm mad. Go away. But see, this is this is how you have to do it to raise if you want to get the full detail of your turntables to do that. Otherwise, you end up with the sunken, sunken tables. Um, and I found that out by accident because I was actually, uh, I was actually building on the side of a, a of a grade, and all of a sudden the detail popped out, and I was like. Oh man, and believe it or not, here's the detail is in on this too. So so this one this one is the is the same thing. So uh I am gonna put in the new roundhouse and so I'm just going to oh my <laughs> I use my own uh backstops. Oh that's a weird fade out thing. Did you see that? All right, let's do that again. Let's let's see if that fades out. Boink. 
Yeah, it does a fade out. That's kind of weird. Watch this. It does a fade. Look, yeah, there's like a ghost image there for just a second. I kind of like the old explosion, the poof. That was kind of cool. All right, so I'm going to come in. This is my master track. This one can go away because it's a curved track. Yeah, it does this fade out. Okay, you guys added something new. Nice working on those details, devs. Really nice. I like it, but give me my foundations. You need to work on the stuff that we really, really want. Okay. Uh, so facilities. Not facilities. There's the roundhouse there, so I saw it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that. So let's see. Industry. No, it's track. Silly desert, Charlie. You're being a dummy. All right, turntable. But again, ah, that's going to suck. All right, so I do have to redo this track. Oh, man. Go, oh, yep. Yeah, see that fade out? That was, that's kind of a cool effect. I still kind of wish it would, like, all just be smoke. It just, like, that would be so cool. <laughs> all right, rail number two. 1% grade. All right, straight on. No. Yeah, straight on. Precise mode, they call it. That's not up enough, is it? That's not going to be enough. Great. I have to go do a 2%. Now, this is a two-part thing uh, when you do it this way. Uh, so I'm just going to say 2% there. Come back. Grab the rat turntable, click it in, and now it's there, okay? That's better, but I still don't see the detail down there. So, man, that, that would have to be way up in the air. Uh, so let's just do that, just, you know, to show how cool or how absurd that is. Uh, and let's see, what do I want to do? I want to put a... I just want to put a, a my own survey marker here. Oh, where's the new survey marker? Here's how I used to do it. I used to just use that as a as a survey marker. But where's the new one? Is it in props? Signs? No new buildings? No. Oh. No new props. Oh, come on. We need more props. Where's the survey marker? Oh, maybe it's probably under hmm, facilities. Hmm. Hmm. I'm lost. The instruction manual did not tell me where. There is no instruction manual. Oh, God dang it. Okay, uh, developers, on your patch notes, in your patch notes, maybe tell us where this stuff is. If you want me to monkey test, I can monkey test. I, when I worked for NASA, I was one of the software developers' uh, monkeys. All right, so we did 1%. Let's do, let's do a freaking stupid 4%. Okay, that's too much. Let's do three. All right, let's do three. Figure out what that, where that's at. And I got my survey marker there. I probably should probably delete it before, before I drop this. All right, let's come in. Rails, turn table, three. There it is. Wow, even at 3%. Uh, you're starting to get some of the detail. Okay, 3% works over that distance. Oh, but man, see how that, that's going to look for every everybody? So um, well, does this still work the same as, as the other one did? I like coming back here. There it is. Okay, hold, rotate clockwise. Good. That's still working the same. There's new icons there. Let's line that up with the other track. Do, 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 do. There we are. All right. 
All right, we get, should have a good curve there. Grab this one. It attaches. Yeah, that'll be ah, that'll be a good curve. And boink. Yeah, that's tolerable. All right, that doesn't look too bad, actually. Unfortunately, you're going to get these these mounds, right? Because you're up so high. So you won't see the track anyway, because when you put a bunch of, of, of tracks in here, you're like this one. Watch, I'll do I'll do this one right away. Uh, boom, let's put this one in. And yeah, see that goes off in the distance. Let's make that a nice straight piece of track. Uh, I don't know, just 10 meters, just do something. Charles, just drop it. Because I want to put the roundhouse from this direction. So let's line up the turntable with the other piece of track. Do, 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 do. I used to call these Armstrongs because you used to have to have an Armstrong and a whole bunch of guys to turn an engine. The engine had to be balanced just right on the uh, these turntables. Uh, I'm going to take a uh, make a YouTube video, take you up and see uh, the real one that that these models were based off of the Southern Pacific narrow gauge at Laws, which is just seven miles north of, of Bishop. Oh, so here's something else I want to. Uh, here's something else I have to uh, talk about too. Okay, before we before we go any further, so you saw that I, you see this ramp, this evil can evil ramp here. That's not good. We need what's called a vertical curve. Now you've seen some of my instructional vi videos about railroad vertical curves. So we're going to need a vertical curve here. And what that is, is you have to delete the original layout track you just did. And then you have to reinstall with, because that was just a precise track. And now you put in, oh, I need these. now you put in this track. There, like that. Okay. And when you do that, the new spline system automatically adds a beautiful sweeping vertical curve so see the vertical curve now it's no longer it's no longer an evil knievel ramp see the it it curves this way that's a vertical curve this is left and right curves this is what you do in the mountains this is also what you do in the mountains those are vertical curves and steep vertical curves will derail a train and evil Knievel ramps will derail it. Now this one was probably already a good vertical curve because I laid it out with the uh, uh, with the proper spine. And then this one was doesn't need a vertical curve because it's just uh, the plain the plain 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 old, plain old. I am live. Welcome home, Pinky. Say hi on Pinky Cam. <laughs> yeah so uh so yeah we're so this is so now okay let's try it let's try it let's try it we should be lined up let's try the new okay so it was under facilities there's the new engine shed we get the fly around it picks one track does it can I use two, like a switch? Oh, come on, guys! You got to be kidding me! You have to, you have to line it up like this. It doesn't switch. Oh, no, no, let's see. It's all right. It's, oh, okay, I see what was it. I guess that allows you to pick what track you want. Well, you have to put it right up on that, though. It would be weird out here. You have to put it right up where you want. Let's see. see, I don't want it there. So I want it. Oh, man, this is super weird. 
guess there. Oh, this can't be. Uh, all right, I'm going to try that. That looks about as close as possible. Boink. Now what? Now what do? FC, what do, what do? So, yeah. So you got to start over? At least they set, okay, I see what they're doing. They're setting the height of this. Is there an invisible wall here? Oh, you doofuses, come on. Yes, there's a wall here. There's a freaking invisible wall. There's an invisible wall right there. Is there one on this side? No. No, I can go through here. But when I would come back, ooh, I hit a stupid invisible wall. All right, this is on the beta. So, devs, you guys got... You, you, oh, come, on. come on, guys. Do I need to fly to Germany and be part of your beta, your alpha tester? Do I? I mean, I will. I'm good at this. I, I monkey test everything. Uh, ask Eve Online. I've, you know, I've done a lot of stuff for Eve Online too. I have a book called The Frigates of Eve, where I wrote the physics of. Uh, lore i'm all i'm all discombobulated here because I'm, I'm just like let's see look i'm just gonna put this here as a freaking reminder okay that there is a stupid invisible wall here okay there look let's see watch i can walk through well i can't walk through now because now there's a uh oh that's the wrong fence all right Watch this. Watch. That fence actually is a, a barrier, which I'm okay with. I'm I'm fine with that one. The fence I need is the low little fence. Because that one is not a barrier. Alright, so let's just drop this one here. This one here. I'll leave a gap right there because it does seem to be you can get through that way. Alright, so see you can go through that one, but the invisible wall won't let you go through this way. But you can go right through that little gate. There you go. See, you need that. Okay, but we still haven't gotten this installed yet. Ah, damn it. This is an age-appropriate channel. Sorry for cussing, but, you know. Sorry, kids. Ah, so frustrating. All right, so now I guess I have to start all over. You put the turntable down first. There it is. Boom. No. It's not working, folks. Why is it not working? It's not clicking. No. I'm I'm right clicking. I'm I'm doing what you do. It's not working. Well, what do you think, people? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, uh, this. This is just not working. It's, oh! it's very painful. Look at this. Wait. And then all of a sudden it clicks in. Somebody listen. Somebody listen. Uh, uh, what, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> so, Pinky, I... Uh, the new update has, has uh, and, and I, I was just like, uh, you know, the new phone books are here. The new phone books. Yeah, the new, the new updates here. The new updates here. So I'm walking through, trying to show everybody the, the, the challenges 
of what the new update is. And there's a lot of challenges. Uh, it's kind of kind of interesting. So, uh, so yeah, so that's happening. But anyway, all of a sudden it decided, and I don't know why that click was different from the other clicks, but it decided to work. And now, of course, everything's probably out of alignment now. So what I probably have to do is... Yeah, let's align to this track and see how badly. Okay, that, oops, no, not that. There we go. There we are. Okay, so I should come out of there and see that's now not straight aligned. So that means I have to do a new master. What I mean by a master is that that one's probably okay but i'm not going to trust no because the height's different i saw the rails clipping there and this one's probably not okay so you got to lay the roundhouse first and from there uh then you can lay your track you know using the Oops, uh, 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 too far, too far, too far. Uh, okay, let's see if that does it. All right, so that that does it. That gives me that weird, that weird turn. And that ain't kind of where I want. Well, I guess it is. Uh, hmm. Which means you're going to have to use a lot more planning and manipulation on the grid to get that roundhouse down just where you want it which means another couple 1 a.m nights for me you know for my anal retentive designing all right let's see if this one works let's reattach to here come on there it is nope don't there we go. All right. So did that one work? Yes, indeed. That one works. And see, there's the there's the dirt pile there. And then let's put in uh, let's put in a receiving track. Let's not make let's just make that a nice piece of straight track for now. Boom. I'll work on that later, just to get how this kind of looks. Okay, so let's realign to another track. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. I'm going to go to the other one just because I want to see the extreme for the design. We'll go to door number one. Pick door, <laughs> door number two. Or Door number three or door number four. What's behind each door? Oh, man, look at that. Like a boss. Oh, nope, just off a little bit. Not much, though. Wow, it's pretty much like a boss. All right, so, yeah, let's see what this one would do. Okay, just for giggles, let's try this piece. Let's see? See what I mean, giggles? Yep. Now, the good part about this is it doesn't have... It doesn't have uh, the dirt that goes over it. So that means I would have to come in with a, a fill, do that. Oh, you know what? Let's try. Let's try wall track. Well, that'll look ugly. Ugh. Oh, but maybe a wall interface. Oh, all right. Let's try that. Let's try a wall interface. Okay, so we put a wall. See, this is what I mean by a wall interface. And now let's put a piece of regular track. And just, this ain't going to be the final resting. I, I'm, I'm going to have to totally relocate this uh, roundhouse. But let's see if this inter, uh, interface track idea works. It, it'll work. It'll work. I know it'll work. It'll work. It's going to be a thing. I'm just going to line it up to this one because I'll put the interface wall piece on, on there. 
because I know it'll work. All right, yeah, I, it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. All right, let's see. And and yes, it worked. Okay, so folks, that's your solution right there. Uh, that's that fixes that. Fi if you're enjoying this content uh, and my hints and tips and tricks and cheats, uh, please hit that. What is that button? It's the old like and subscribe button uh, because I'm an attention whore and that's the only way I know you guys are paying attention. Uh, just so <laughs> just humor me or I'll play my ballad again. Don't make me play my ballad again. All right, so uh, so again, you need this. You need a you need a wall here because the devs have these like the oil platform had these invisible walls. Oh, so frustrating. There's none on the other side. Hey, you know what? We haven't gone inside yet. Done, done, done. All right. All right. This is the first time I've done this, so we haven't even gone inside. So open the door. Oh, they opened both at the same time. They opened both at the same time. <laughs> Finally, devs, you did something that made absolute sense. Yes, let's, I, I'm just going to open all the doors. You still have to click and drag, but yes, indeed. Look at that. It is it is a thing of wonder now. Oh, okay, or is it? Come on, let's do it. How can... Wait, hold? Yes! There we go. Good. Good job, good job, yeah. <laughs> All right, so now, yeah, see, I knew there would be grass down in here. Okay, because, yeah, they showed it on the on the preview, and I'm like, there's going to be grass. You can't hide the procedural grass. It just doesn't happen. So, yeah, don't, don't lie to us. We know. And supposedly this has lights on it at nighttime, so when it gets dark, uh, let's do that now. Since this is a, uh, a demo tour, oops, oops, uh, options, gameplay, pre dawn, 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 a.m. Back, continue. Oh, where are the lights? Oh, oh, we saw them turn on. Did you see that? That was cool. Okay, I guess they automatically turn on and they were not on for a while since we just changed the time. Uh, I'm staring into my studio light, so it's kind of hard for me to see, but oh, on this monitor, it looks it looks better. Okay, that that looks pretty cool. And we got the natural glow of the Aurora lights. Uh, it's always frustrating to me that some of the best lights are the uh, are the indicators. And devs, can you take these indicators and put them down lower, please? You know, they don't need to be way up in the sky. Put them down lower. Come on. In some cases, you can't even see them because they're up so high. Oh, and can you also maybe, you know, under props, under decorations, add lamps? Like yard lights or street lights or whatever lights. We can do stuff like that. So, Sue's <laughs> Pinky's uh, uh, getting excited over uh, on the internet about something, and it's yeah, it's probably uh, probably something not good. Uh, all right. So anyway, good job on that. Let's go back to the. Let's shed some light on this project. That was pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I, I, I like the lights. I like the modeling. You guys are doing a good job, but there's just little things you need. You need. You need me to do videos like this. But you don't need me to do videos like this. You need me to, on your alpha team to go. You know, give you a little creative design while you're doing this. Um, and I know it takes programming, and I know you're all frustrated with time schedules. I know it's all scrum and stand-up meetings and meetings on me. I, I've done this. I've done this for NASA. Uh, but I'm retired now, and now I want to play games. And so I can help you. 
But anyway, all right, where were we? I'm all distracted because it's like I love this game so much, but there's so many frustrating little little things. I want to be an evangelist. Uh, all right, gameplay. Let's go back, set the time. I always use this tree as my marker. This tree is my marker right here uh, that I use uh, for my uh, morning time. So back and back. All right, there we are. And the light is coming through the windows. Okay, guys, you did a good job on that. Oh, it's coming through these windows, right? On the top. So that's a good job. Oh, look, there's a different color, different color roadbed. Hmm. Is that a hint? Things to come? Or is it just because of the lighting? Oh, it's just lighting. All right. But yeah, we need different color roadbeds too. That would be cool. What if you had two different narrow gauge lines? You know, that at our interface, they, each one would use something different. All right. So other than uh, you have to put the roundhouse down first, then you put the turntable. I understand that now. Uh, and this invisible wall problem. Boink. How far does it go out? No. Okay. So yeah, that's about right there. What? Where is the access? Not there, not there, not there, not there, not there. Right here. Okay. And I'll put a marker here. Because this is where the invisible wall is. Right? So see, you go on this side of the marker, boom, invisible wall. You go on this side of the marker, oh, access. All right. So... We learned about invisible walls. We've learned about uh, vertical curves. We've learned about uh, interface tracks using the stone. That I, I'm okay with that. You guys don't have to change any design. No design update. This has got to go. See, because but we now know that you have interface tracks, and it's kind. It's cool that you've raised it enough that you can see this. So apparently, if you let's try let's try another one from scratch. Let's just see if all this if all this theory crafting works. So facilities first, roundhouse, rotate it, rotate it as you want. Oh, oh, it's got it's got telegraph lines. Oh, you know I'm gonna. Oh, I can. I have a little tutorial tutorial on that. Uh. Actually, why don't I just drop it right here? Maybe. Yeah. Why don't I just drop it right here? This might be my this might be my new setup here. Alright, boom. And I'm on the roof. On the roof. Boom boom boom. Alright, get out my monster all nuke. <laughs> this might be my new layout, my new location. Let's see, because I'm not invested in any of this stuff, uh, except for the invisible wall. See, see, the invisible wall is gone now. See, look, see, it's gone. So there is an invisible wall there. Okay, all the lead-in tracks need to go away. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Uh, is that going to be my main lead-in? I'm okay with that because that actually goes out to the... Well, no, this one might be able to work too. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Let's see. I'm getting all excited now. All right, let's go to the track. Turntable number three. Let's line it up to there. Click. It worked the first time. Yay. What do you know? It worked the first time, but that's going to be a horrendous curve, right? Because uh, I got to go all well, maybe not. Maybe it'll work. That's oh, well, no. I'm first just going to do a test before I start implementing. All right, let's make this. Let's make this a freeform track. Let's just attach it. Am, am I going faster? 
Uh, that is a little too steep. Yes, indeed, it is. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play with the. Uh, I'm gonna do, do some fine tuning, but what I do want to show teach uh, is I've done some testing with the telephone poles. So I'm just going to put a pole here. Okay, let's just put a starter pole, I call it. And let's see if that attaches. Is it lined up right? You got to make sure you got to make sure the crossbar is lined up. And don't worry about the initial placement of it. And and yes, did it attach to the building? It did. Nice. All right, it did indeed. There's my initial pull. All right, so what I want to teach you all about uh, telephone poles is if you take a, uh, I like using uh, the wall track here just because it's easy to see. Okay, so we're going to take this piece of wall track, point it in the direction you want your telephone poles to go. Okay. And you can put it on the side like this too. This is what I this is, this is actually how I like to do it. Okay, put that down. Okay, now just drive wherever you want this to be, and it could be the 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 curvy version, or well, typically if you use the straight version. Now you see where it says fifty meters? Too far. Your poles won't work. Uh. But I do know that 40 meters per wall works. So boom, we put a wall piece there. Put a gap here. Watch that. Put a gap. Drive another 40 meters. Okay. There you go. Close enough. 40 meters. Put another gap. Now, when you have these gaps, you can make a turn. Let's see. Do I want to make a turn? Yeah. Let's make a turn. In this direction okay so another 40 meters do, 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 do. yeah there's there's 40 meters there 40 meters each so so now check this out what we do is we go back to these uh these rulers like these are basically rulers. Don't delete the trees. You can leave all the trees unless it gets in the way of the line. And now watch this. We go and put a telegraph pole. We put one here. Oh, we got to make sure enough. It's lined up the way we want in the crossbars. Okay. Put, a, put one here. Did it connect? It connected at 40 meters. You see what, see what I'm doing now? Put one here. And because this is on a curve, we want to change this crossbar to half the half the distance. Look what's happening. It's working. This is my trick for laying poles. All right, so here's some trees. So now I have a choice. Do I put it here at the trees? No. Put it over here. You can just freeform it like that. You know, again, line up your uh, cross box up there. So in the direction you want. Boom. There it is. And I'm just going to guesstimate this is another 40 right here to about right here. But I'm probably going to go that way because you don't have to be totally exact, you know. But as long as it's 40 meters or less, folks, then grab your destroyer and then take out your rulers. And look at that. It's a thing of beauty. See, that's why I mean this is why I like modeling. It's like model railroading. You can you can see we saved all these trees. And now and now the uh, now the round turntable is a roundhouse is now hooked up with the telegraph office. Oh, is there a little telegraph office? It would be a little cool if there was like a little little desk right here. <laughs> all right, here you go. Here you go. Have a, have a yeah. We need the under decorations. We need desks. We need uh, all kinds of stuff. A table and chairs. We ha we have chairs, but we don't have we don't have 
There you go. That was a weird color. Everything in here is a strange color. Maybe to do with, well, see like this is a gray, but outside it's not. Oh, we haven't opened the door from in here. Oh! Okay, we didn't see that before. The door is held closed by a board, so you got to give it time. That's why the animation when I was trying out here is like, why isn't it opening? Okay, we need to see that yellow, uh, that yellow. You know when it when it shows up yellow, we need to see that on the outside because I I had no clue. It's closing at the same way. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's see. Open. See, there, there's no... Oh, you can see the yellow on the backside, but it's not transparent. It needs to be transparent. But but wait. See that other little detail there? They have they have a, a lock pin for the door. Watch this. Open. Close it. Nice. Okay, devs. Again. Uh... Good job. Good. 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 Good job. It, it it's it's awesome and you're so close to perfect now i know it's a i know it's an alpha or a beta game right now but uh but uh yeah uh, you need you need some monkey feedback uh, monkey testing like me to help you with some of this stuff uh because you know what we haven't tested the the invisible wall is it oh look look why What caused that? Okay, you saw me do it, devs. You saw me. You saw the invisible wall. Why? <laughs> it's not there no more. <laughs> Why was it there one time and now it's not? Oh, wait, it is. I just hit the wall. I hit the wall. <laughs> Burn it with fire. Why? Why? That, now the wall is there again. Maybe if I run at it. If I run faster. Run, 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 run. Oh, ouch. See, now. Okay, I'm glad I documented this. You guys saw that I was able to go through it. What if I back through it? Can I back through it? No. See, I hit all the buttons. You know, can I sidestep through it? This is how you beta test. This is why, you know, why all the developers would bring stuff to, to me to, to beta test. That wasn't even my job. My job was knowledge management, but they knew I was a, I, they knew I was a good monkey. So, all right. Well, uh, yeah, this curve ain't going to work. That's way too steep. Uh, so I'm going to have to uh, reposition yet again uh, the turntable to fit my layout. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I, I can deal with that. Uh, but what else do they have? Oh, they have the new Spawn Anywhere feature. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> so okay. I know. Bear with me, folks. Sorry for running all over the place. Well, I missed my super speed. Come on, devs, give us give us at least the option in settings to for like slow, medium, fast. You know, for super speed. Uh, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the new spawn function, and I'm going to put a four percent grade. I'm going to be precise. Let's do the precise. Wait, is that precise? No, it's not. Okay, 5%? No, not 5. All right, let's do 4%. All right, let's run this out. Yep, over my head. I don't care. That's fine. I'm just goofing off because I want to goof off. All right, all right. There is my, there is my pump truck. Because if you've seen my other uh, video on the hump spawn yard, and my hump yard. Uh, and now let's go look at the new engine. There's a new engine in town. Oh, 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 
Forgot about this guy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about him. Ah. Okay, wait a minute. We're going to go to the other one. Okay, that's the 125. That's the Lima. The class 70. What we're looking for is the class 45. Mosca, Shea, Ruby Basin. Did they bury it? 47. That's it. That's the new one. I think. I have to check patch notes, but I think so. Oh, full paint scheme, number two. Bell rings. Yeah, this is the passenger one uh, for speed. Yeah, this is the new one. It's coal. Uh, that's three foot gauge. Nice red. Okay, well, that looks good. I like that one. That's very fancy. Uh, let's change the headlight. And we put oh, oh two different antlers now. You got uh, it's got a cow horn or or moose, <laughs> not deer. You got moose and cow horns now. So yeah, that's all new. All right, so it's still oil uh, lanterns, uh, old style there. Okay, that's fine. Smokestacks. Uh, you got the show stack. You got the spark arrestor stack. Uh, straight stack. Oh, uh, large onion stack. Oh, no, yeah, another smoke arrestor. Short stack, medium stack. Uh, another smoke arrestor. I kind of like that one. Short smoke arrestor. Jeez, there's lots of options there. All right. Oh, it's cheap. It's kind of a cheap. It really doesn't pull that much, but it's supposed to be fast. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be supposed to be fat. Now, now I'm like not sure I want to buy stuff because uh, I because again, well, I can I can use this as a save game. It doesn't matter. Ugh, silly trope. Okay, so yeah, let's just order this one as it is. I kind of like that that first page. Okay, what's the difference between one and two? Two, which is it's like an eye doctor. One. I don't see any difference. Two, three, two, one. All right, there's got to be some difference there, but I don't see it. Hmm, wheels? No. What are you guys trying to pass on to us here? That one's different, it's different color. Uh... I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I'm not seeing it. No, we'll just go with three because we're going to spawn it. We're going to order it. And it ends up way the hell over there. Why? 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 I was standing on the track I wanted you to spawn, and it's nowhere near where I want it to spawn. Nowhere near. It ended up a mile away. I want it to end up on my spawn track up there. Hmm. Yeah, go figure. Oh, the interior looks nice. Oh, it's got a nice little light bulb. Finally, a chair. Can't sit down in it, but at least it has a nice chair. It's kind of a cool cab. Very steampunkish. Shall we fire it up, take it for a ride? Let's see what top speed can do. Why not? Why not? Let's throw that, fire that up. 29, 1, probably 5 loads. 2. Can't see the, can't see the text, folks. Oh, there it is. See, I couldn't see the text before because it's in the fire. I like the fire, but make the text gray. If the text was gray, then it would show up. That would work. All right, let's see how we drive these things. There's the reversers here. That looks good. Brake is way over there. you got to be in the right position, too, because... If you're not in the right spot, then stuff gets in the way of everything else. So, at least the brake. 
regulator back or oh yeah that's pull regulator reverser all right well let's check our temperatures and stuff there we are yeah, it's a cool looking engine oh i like how he's standing in the his stance is is a little better you can is a little profile view i see what you guys did there see normally he's looking straight down but here he's kind of has a little 30 degree uh stance that that looks cool as you can you can see inside so let's get a little closer see he's standing at a different angle i like that that looks that looks cool it looks more natural that's pretty cool all right so how's my temperatures going we should have heat all right 160 we need that to be at 220 imperial boiling water there's the bell yeah that one of the youtubers i saw was like you don't have a push button belt well they've always had a push button belt you press the it was a green thing up here it was a button so you know if you want to if you want to hit the bell rope you go up here and you go see like that but it was just like a hater special it was like oh man there's changes i don't want all these changes it was like dude nothing's changed it's still a button <laughs> see it's on so let me turn that off Boing. it was a button before it's a button now but again this needs this over here needs to be like right here and this needs to be down with that it needs needs because doing this and 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 this that's what causes carpal tunnel people i have a brace i know i've suffered from carpal tunnel i had to actually buy one playing this game uh but yeah i have i have the, the full brace for all of that because you can't keep going back and forth and back and forth back and forth. that's you're hurting people you are you're hurting people so try to keep everything close small mouse movements stop hurting people I hate to be harsh but i'm trying to be safe you know again we at nasa take safety very seriously and that's even safety in in, in gaming all right do we have pressure yet 275 uh boiler effect is going up that's yeah that's what i thought that was oh we're starting to move because i have everything going all right well let's cut the regulator so we build up boiler pressure faster see that's a thing so air pressure we don't have any air air pressure for the air brakes let's turn that up we should be that, that probably means we don't have any brakes Oh yeah, no, we have okay, we do have brake pressure. It was hard to read on there. But yeah, now it's showing air pressure on the brakes. Okay, I like that. At least brakes are working now. Doesn't show where max boiler pressure is, but that's where we are. So we should be good to go. Of course I'm not lined up for anything. Ooh, good chuff. Good chuff sound. Okay, what's wrong? Why are we not why are we not moving? Let's come to a stop. Line up our tracks while we can. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Ooh. Big roof. Hope he's okay. All right, full regulator, break off. Let's go. See what speed we can do with this thing. Oh look, now he's standing sideways. That's 
that's interesting. So it's a, a function of, okay, I'm looking straight ahead. So now I'm looking straight ahead, okay? So now I'm looking out the back, F. <laughs> I see what they did. Look, Mon, no eyes. All right, what am I doing wrong, folks? I, oh, I know what I'm, I'm doing wrong. I know, I know, I know. I forgot. It was a, a new, new engine. Oh, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> it was the break on the tender. Yeah, new engine. All right, we are over 20. Oh, so the other thing I was going to say, uh, devs, if you're going to add this, then at least give us more indication of, I mean, 20 to 25. Can't even tell what's, what the difference is. All right, let's open up the reverser. See what that does, 27%. See, it doesn't, 26, I guess. Where's the speed? It, there, there's no speed. I need speed. I don't know which way I'm lined up. If I'm lined up to go up the hill, oh, I am. Oh, this is a bad curve. This is a bad curve. This is a slow curve. Break, 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 break. See? <laughs> Slow curve, yeah, okay. Uh, let's back up. Because that goes up the hill at a 2% grade and it's kind of curvy. Uh, this is a 4% grade, but it's a high speed grade. So the last time I came through here was on the way to the smelter. Oh yeah, it does it does skidding. I love skidding. Good job on that. I love when they skid. I know not, not all trains will skid, but this one just did a skid. So the the engine can do 26, but can the cars? <laughs> that seems to be a problem. All right, let's let's here we go up the hill. Seems I have to repress the V key every time I exit and come back. So I lost the memory. Alright, 20. Reverser to 36. See if we get some speed going uphill because we have no load. What's the whistle sound? Oh, see? Oh, man. Oh, oh, I like it, but I don't like where that is. Come on. I know what you guys are intending. You you intended it to be reach up for the whistle like it is in the cab. Well, if I want to do that, I'll be in the cab, right? I, I, I would do that. This is a 4% grade and it's flying up. Yeah, this is, this is flying up at like 20 whatever. Uh, I don't like that. 20 whatever, less than 25, more than 20. Can't even tell. Let's see. This one's kind of weathered. Maybe that's the difference in paint speeds. But see, this track is yeah, this track is designed for for high speed. How'd you like that four percent? It's really quick. It just comes right out of that middle uh, area there works pretty good and then it's just like this it's level and downhill ish so we should be really get some speed going here we're doing 30 probably could even go faster at least the tender's not flying off tender's looking pretty good <laughs> at least that part's that part's fine so where we are is we're, we're up here and we're on that long straight headed to the, uh, headed to the iron. Yeah, that's, that's where we are there. Put that off screen. Uh, 
do, 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 do. Man, we are hauling. We are doing pretty good. Yeah, we're over 30. Over 30, under 35, whatever that is. You got all this screen real estate, and you, and, and, and you have to make me read with old man eyes this little gradation here. Okay, we're doing good there. We're going to take the uh, main bypass. Sweeping curves for high speed. It's looking pretty good. Yep. Okay, we are we are headed up to the bind. This is also a uh, uh, four percent grade. The other side of that switch is a three percent grade, and so so that's kind of cool. Oh, wait a minute! What just happened? We have a new subscriber. We have our four hundredth subscriber. <laughs> Yay! Four hundred. <laughs> Yay! Yes, indeed. Nice. Our 400 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you very much for subscribing. All right, we're coming up to the uh, to 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 the iron mine here. Now, I I've used these uh, iron carts as markers, you know, for loading. So. I just thought it was kind of cool to use those. But we're not stopping. We're doing a high-speed derail test. We're going <laughs> to see how fast we can go, especially on this 3% downhill. This is, is probably going to be fatal, but I'm okay with that. Like I said, I'm probably just going to not save this version. Uh, and then I'll work on... I'll work on a, a and fills, I don't have a problem with these big fills. I wish they were a little different shape. I wish they were a little broader top and then a fill down. Because this does look aesthetically kind of weird. Uh, but that that's one thing I would change. If possible, I would have uh, plants and stuff growing on them. Because this looks like it was a brand new railroad. Oh, we are over 45 miles an hour. 50. Are we 50? No, I no, I guess that's 50. We're approaching 50. And it survived the switches. It sometimes derails on switches. We are trucking. There's 50, folks. And the the oh, there it goes. <laughs> I was just gonna say it's usually. <laughs> oh man, we can't catch up to that. Because we don't have fast mode on. Come back. Jack. Come back, Jack. Jack. So the only way I can do this is to come all the way up to here. Come out here. I should be on the far end. Am I on the far end? Yeah, I'm on the far end. I, I bet it's going to make it down the hill. But it's probably just hauling at light speed now but there's not that many turns there and see i don't have super speed mode because r.i.p uh railroad online extended come on guys so on third party somebody pick up the slack i don't know if he made the source code available i don't know somebody's gotta step up all right, where is that engine? Where is that engine? He's got to be coming down that 4% grade. We're not. He might die. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. He's going to be right right here when he appears. Yeah, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, he is hauling. He may not make this turn. Oh, he didn't make that turn. We saw him, I saw him crash. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> I saw it crash. Didn't make the vertical curve on it down. That's really rare. Where is it? Here, here he is. Oh, guess what? We get the a new feature is the re-rail feature. But, but, oh yeah, see, there's the vertical curve right there. That's the vertical curve. And that one looks a little steep. Maybe I didn't gentilize that one. All right, so there's multiple ways. You can use this way, or you can use the mouse button thing. Oh, that's where that is. Okay, that's where the... There, there we can do an accident investigation here. And, and... <laughs> there we go. All right, we figured that one out. All right, so re-railing. We want to pick up the engine. This is always a hard part. It's like you got to click, 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 figure out where to re-rail it. There it goes. Okay, we got it. So rotate clockwise. So you're supposed to be able to fly, right? Oh, you point up in the air and you can fly. That's cool. So that means I can put it anywhere now? If I stare at a piece of track, how do I do this? I can fly like a bird through the trees. Oh, I like this. I like, oh, I like this mode. Okay, but that's not what we're doing. We're trying to re-rail this guy. Oh, okay, there it goes. So you just have to be, you can't do it from up in the air, but it allows you to get to a spot. This will be a challenge. It works. And then once you once you click, uh oh. Once you click, then you're on the ground with it. Okay, the brakes weren't set. V key, V key. There we go. Okay, I can get some regulator. Oh, should we go back and pick up the I'm just playing now. Now 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 I'm just now I'm just goofing off. Alright, so yeah, let's go pick up. We'll we'll pick up the survey equipment later. But at least now I know how they work, yeah. You can use the middle mouse button. But yeah, it looks like my vertical curve there that's what caused it to rail. Oh, it may have came off of this vertical curve in the air. Because, yeah, you can actually do Evil Knievel jumps if your vertical curve's off. And I saw a uh, negative vertical curve to a positive. So I bet that's what happened. We should have enough fuel in the, in the boiler to get back to our tender. So that's good. <laughs> We're back to 30 miles an hour. Bum, 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 bum. No, it's kind of tippy. It was a little tippy there, but it's actually pretty stable for... Uh, if, if, if you know the difference between uh, drivers on, on uh, engines, if they're small drivers, that's higher tractive effort but slower speed. And if they're large drivers, they're lower tractive effort, but higher speed. So when you see steam engines at like a museum, you can tell which ones are passengers and which ones are freight. Because small wheels, slow speed, high tractive. Tractive effort, you know, means people pulling a lot. Uh, big wheels, fast speed, low tractive effort. Because, you know, the passenger cars were typically not as as heavy as a full freight train. All right, let's just go into coast mode. Let's see how good the brakes are. Full brakes now. Oh, love that sliding. I love sliding. Oh, and the front one was not sliding as it should be. Good job again. Good job, developer. All right, so we uh, do the middle mouse button. 
We can fly in the sky. <laughs> I like that. Okay, I like this flying mode. All right, we're going to drop it down here, anywhere, it doesn't matter. Any day now. Am I actually on the ground? Oh, I am. What? Okay, come on. I'm going to click a button, maybe. Rotate clockwise. Oh. Why is it not working? I can fly like a bird. I love this flying. Wow. Okay, this flying mode is really cool. Oh, yeah, I can do a Star Wars speeder. Look at that. Oh, oh, this is new. This. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Yeah, there's my. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's got side slip. You got to you got to what? Yeah, it's got some side slip here. Don't hit the mountain. Don't hit the mountain. Don't hit the mountain. Dun, 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 dun. Uh oh, end of the world. Oh, I'm looking beyond the end of the world. Oh, ouch. Okay, I did hit the mountain. Oh, look what's behind there. Oh, this is cool. I love it. <laughs> All right, side slip, side slip. Wait. Okay, yeah, that does have some momentum. So, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, what were we doing? We were trying to free <laughs> It's tender. And see, I'm all the way down on the ground now. So I'm all the way on the ground. And I should be able to just say right here. I'm going to press space. Oh, space makes you fly. W brings you down. Okay, that's not working, is it, folks? Can I put it on this track? Why? It says re-rail. And I've already clicked that a bunch of times. Let's do it again. See the little icon down there? It says re-rail, re-rail. Rotate clockwise, re-rail. Close. Re-rail. It still says re-rail. Now I can't even get out of this mode. I'm going to try this one. That was bork. Bork, bork. All right, let's see what that one does. All right, that one worked. Backwards, but it worked. Rotate clockwise. There we go. All right, so a little buggy. Uh, yeah, let's put the brake on because it's going downhill. All right, little buggy. All right, well, I'm done playing with that. We're going on a two-hour stream here, one hour, 43 minutes. What else is new? Um, let's see. The options, graphics. Uh, DirectX 12 is good. That's still the same. Everything is epic. Epic, epic. No changes. Field of view. I've turned my blur way down. It seems to help. Full screen. Um, yeah, the blur is kind of weird. Turning it down helps a lot. Uh, yeah, so I don't see anything anything different there. Uh, audio, audio and background. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Uh, oh, here's a trick for you. If if you want it one to one to your real clock, so right now it is on my watch. Uh, 11.55 a.m. So if I put this at 11.55 a.m., right there, see, 11.55 a.m., and you put this at 7.50, you get real time. So there's a trick for you. There's another Desert Charlie hack. 7.50 is the magic number. Uh, and if you want a full, you know, 7.50, so real, real night time, I don't care about the night that much, but if you want a full clock, that's how you set a, a real, your real time. 
and then that that keep oh pinky siding and and then that makes that that way okay so there's another hack for you uh let's see what else what else what else what else, what else? uh we go here oh yeah the rotary snowplow okay we need a rotary snowplow of course we do <laughs> All right, we're going to need one. And we're going to spawn it here, right? Because we can't now. So, uh, oh, man, let's see. It's huge. My gosh. You know you can move around inside here? It's really clunky. You have to take a couple steps like this. It's not as graceful as that new feature. But you can move around. And it's very, very clunky. And... Uh, but there you go. That's how you move around. You have to point in the direction you want from press the W or the S key or the D key to go sideways because you can, to some degree, you can you can do that too. All right, so let's take a look at the paint schemes. Ooh, nice green. Oh, I like the orange. So it matches the passenger colors, a little blue color. Okay, so four paint schemes. Black. Green, I like the green, uh, and I like the orange, and I, I like them all. I want them all. It's a pricey one. It's a, yeah, it's pretty pricey. The headlights, oh, it's got the electric headlights too. That's cool. Smokestacks, uh, short what? No smoke stack. Short stock. Let's go a little closer. Let's go up in the air in the flying machine. All right, let's take a look. So it's got short stack. Oh, that's it. Two stacks. No stack, one stack. Well, we've got to have one stack. Uh, headlight. That's my favorite. Yeah, I like that one. That's my good one. I don't know. Number, let's call it. Uh, let's call it six, just for the fun of it. Uh, white spy railroad vendor WSR. Let's go see what that looks like. Let's back off. Oh, <laughs> whoa, you can put a good long tender name on there. Uh, white sky railroad. Okay, I you can't put a long name here. It didn't take it. Yeah, it it didn't take all of that. So that would probably be, you know, a name. You could call it. You can name it like I don't know the Los Angeles. Although Los Angeles doesn't have snow, so let's call it the Tahoe. <laughs> there we go so then you don't have to number it uh, so let's just call it ws railroad there we go all right there we go let's buy that one click order it and where did it show up there it is all right oh my gosh it crashed all right um uh, Oh, it merged with the tender. <laughs> See, I am the perfect monkey tester. I tell you. It has its own tender. Uh, and it merged with my tender. Uh, all right. Well, let's fix all that. Uh, wow. Yeah. As, as a beta tester, if we're going to use this one because the other one we know is kind of goofy. Oh, it, oh, it, so entertaining. It looks like it still has some momentum on it. All right, let's let's set that brake. Oop, oh, the other way. Okay, brake is set. Oh, this ain't going to be enough room to fix this. Oh, uh, what a mess. All right, let's just move this out of the way more. We'll use this one because we know this one works. The other one was buggied. 
All right. There you go. There. The brake's on, so it's out of the way. Uh, let's fix this one now. Free rail. Click, 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 click. No clicky, no joy. Click, 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 click. Is it re-railable? Snowplow. Oh, there it is. And it's facing the wrong direction because it always does. Why does it always do that? All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Click, 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 click. Devs, is there a hack where you're supposed to click? Because I'm clicking all over this thing. There. All right, so let's see. And that's correct. Okay. So it probably has, it's a tender, so it probably has a uh, coupler. I heard it, but I couldn't, I don't see it. Open knuckle coupler. Okay. Oh, here it is. It's on this one. But I don't have any steam. <laughs> I don't have any steam because the, uh, because I got to come over here, pick up fuel, carry it. I got my, <laughs> my... yeah, 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 that's, that's life. All right, so now we got to get up in here. All right, well, that, that that should give me some. Oh, maybe this is on a downhill, right? Remember? It was on a downhill. Wow, there's a lot of coal in here. Look at that. Oh, the water is back there. Coal is in here. All right, maybe if I hit this brake, I wouldn't be so lucky, right? Sometimes rocking it makes a difference. Nope, no difference. All right. Well, at least we got the fire started. Do, 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 All right, well, let's enter this thing. Oh, you go out through the road here. That's huge. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, there we are. Do we? Yeah, it's going to take a while to get this one up and running. What, no bell? It's got no bell. Oh, generator is here. Oh, gosh. Now, what? Why is the generator there? Okay, no whistle, no generator. Oh, now I got to go all over the place. Oh, this interface, it's beta. I, I, it's beta. It's beta. I keep telling myself it's beta. Baffles. Oh. Yes, you could change which way the baffles go. That's cool. Here it is on the front. Okay, that's cool. The flanger is down below underneath. It's kind of hard to see that. We would have to get in very close here. Down to the grass. <laughs> All right, can we see it? Yeah, see, that's the flanger underneath. So that's down. Looks like it's just... Down or up? There's no like in between setting. So looks like they just did that for decorative purposes. Yeah. Okay, that's I understand. That's fine. I don't care about that. It's not that big a deal. All right. Let's see. Uh, what else? Still don't have any steam yet. 180. We need to go to 220. Does seem like we do have air pressure for the brakes. Oh yeah, so so it it comes with air pressure for the brakes, but we don't have steam, so we would lose that. All right, steam's being made now. Now steam is being made. But here's the other thing: if you have a snow plow, oh, it instantly transported me to the front. Oh, I get it. I... 
you kind of have to like kind of crouch crouch in here I guess that's how the real one was you'd, you'd have to crouch in it doesn't look like you would just walk in there alright well we are building up steam so that's a good thing but if you have a snow plow you're going to need some snow <laughs> so options gameplay it's, I don't know, let's just go with uh, heavy snow. There we go. Back. Back. How come I can't go back? Was there lag due to the snow? I think there was lag. Hmm. I guess. What's going on here? I'm not sure. Hey, Tim, there you go. Stream is looking good. How is the roof work? Well, they're going like crazy up there. Can you get the rotary snowplow, please? Yep, I got it. Hey, Caden, how you doing? Can you uh, get... I just got the comments going now, so... So, uh... So sorry I didn't see those before. I just I just saw those now. I think what I can do is pull the comments on the screen with chat. Okay, my chat's not working, but uh, normally normally I, I could. So I had to, I had to take a, a look. Right. So see, it is snowing. We should have steam now. So let's get in and back this uh, bad boy up. Yeah, see, there's the air is done, the steam is done. Let's uh, put this in reverse. Release the brake a little bit. Oh, look, there's a brake wheel. Well, so much fun. A little more regulator. Oh! This one isn't the engine model, right? This. Or is it? That's the play. That's the flanger down below. We go outside. Are we getting snow? Can you walk into this? Ah! Yeah, that's not good. Uh, I thought they said one of these is an, is an engine, which which sounded bizarre to me because I don't think any of them were ever engines. Uh, the the steam engine that is there, the steam engine that is there is actually meant to. Uh, oh, we don't want to go that way. We want to go backwards. Should have done this earlier. Boink, boink. There we go. I'm gonna run out of steam on this one, right? I'd rather feel. Alright, let's see. I could have done that earlier to hook them up. Oh, there's my footsteps. See? There's my footsteps. Ooh, it's deep snow. Yeah, you can do a. Uh, TTP. Huh. All right, so door into a vehicle and in the vehicle. Regulator. Let's see, why does it have a reverse? Coming to a stop. See, why does it have a reverse? Why does it have a brake? Oh, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. We are blowing snow. That was all accidental. We are moving. I'm going outside. Take a look. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Oh, uh, Kaden, if you're still watching. This is cool. Look at the amount of snow that's piled up on the track. That is great. Look, look at it. That is so awesome. That's a lot of snow. I didn't know the snow was that deep. Here... And then here, it, it piles up unevenly. I don't know why, you know, what the algorithm is. Go oh, yeah, I'm kind of up to my waist in snow here. Wow, that's up to my belt. That looks so cool. It's got to go faster than that, though. It's got to go faster. And how long does it stay before the snow comes back? Oh, it looks good. It, it looks really good. Let's get in and, uh, I gotta be in first person. <laughs> All right, let's get the baffle going, the flanders. Landers all the way down the top and through the other side. Yep. Is that not changing? Ah. I think it shoots off better one way than does the other. Okay, th okay, there we go. There we go. All right, let's put the baffle on the other side. Oh, that's weird. Huh? Is that a developer bug? Oh no! No, it's because. No, that can't. Okay, turn down the re reverser. So there's the reverser. Now it's going to start turning the other way, right? So now that it's turning the other way, we need to change the baffle. Yes! Okay, I understand. That's cool. See, it just taught me something at the same time. That that is way cool. All right, I think. Uh, uh, all right, so yeah, this this is the guy that's pushing, and it's out of steam because of the tender accident. So that's what's going on with that. This, this is this is all cool. So let's uh <laughs> I'm all lost here. Save game. Nope, nope. Continue. Options. Let's change the weather back to a nice nice day we can watch very quick. Gotta remember there is a little bit of a uh, lag going to the snow. I've noticed that one before. So now it's a nice day. Put a snow shower here. The sun is out, the snow is melting. That is really cool. Okay, so, so now that I understand how it works, uh, now we can make it work uh, uh, properly with the right engine. First person view. Yep, snow is melting. 
Well, that was the other thing, developers. I, I want to be able to, like, leave the snow right like this. Uh, set the snow level so the whole map is covered, like, at this level. Or, you know, allow me to set the, set the sunlight level so it doesn't just automatic, uh, automatically. See, it's lagging. It, it does lag because of the snow level. But it would be kind of cool if you could just set, like, this partial snow all over the entire map. Yeah. Alright. That is, that is fun. I like it. Oh, let's just, uh, <laughs> let's just go back to the freight depot. Get rid of that noisy machine. That, that was cool. Alright, I hope you enjoyed all that, uh... Please remember to hit that like and subs like and subscribe button. Uh, I had fun doing this. I hope hope you did too. It was kind of a kind of an adventure. You saw it going off live. It was uh, some things I didn't know about. Some hints and tips and tricks in there. If you've been here for the whole two hours, you need a medal. Uh, fast forward, back and forth, I need a shave, I uh, need a shower, I need to get going, I need to put eye drops in Pinky's eyes, Pinky's eyes. <laughs> Do all that. So, uh, so, yep, uh, I had fun learning all the new stuff, so now I can't wait to go in and actually start playing with all these pieces. So, this time I'm going to hit the stop streaming button, uh, unlike last time. So thanks again for joining me on another Desert Charlie adventure. All aboard! You know what I always say. 